is the kind of school of course this is the kind of video you want to watch i'm not even going to say if this is the kind of video you want to watch this is the kind of video you should hey guys welcome back to my channel Mia Mops here yes, happy new month welcome to september 2021 i really hope this rest of the year brings so much light so much prosperity and we end 2021 on a good note thank you guys for stopping by Don't forget to click on the subscribe button we are growing and i'm so excited i have exciting news for you guys and stay tuned for the next video that's going to be coming up i have exciting news for my business inclined individuals business inclined students that's exciting news to show you guys that i actually read your comments i want scholarship i want scholarship i want scholarship i do read your comments and I do read your DMs and I acknowledge your emails and everything and um, watch out for the next video Hence, turn on your notification bell for the next video so you can be amongst the first to watch that video without further ado let's just get straight into today's video today's video is gonna be very crucial because now is application season We're talking about the seven different categories of scholarship that you should know before you apply the seven different categories of scholarship that are available out there that you should be aware of before you apply. When you know the kind of scholarship that a particular institution is offering, it helps you tailor your statement of purpose. It helps you tailor writings on all of your purpose-driven SOPs and everything towards what they are looking for. You know, when you have a rates-based scholarship and a need-based scholarship, we don't want to be talking about how much you need, 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 when you should be talking about how much you have to offer. If this is the kind of scholarship, of course, this is the kind of video you want to watch. I'm not even going to say if this is the kind of video you want to watch. This is the kind of video you should be watching and stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about different kinds of scholarship or the different categories of scholarship that there is before you apply and i feel like you should know this before you apply there are seven categories or more depending on your school of thought and um, i'll be explaining briefly what each of these categories are the very first scholarship that you should know that there is is athletic scholarship so there is athletic scholarship where you have to dwell on your sports you have to talk about your sporting abilities you and how much you have to offer sports wise or athletic wise you need to maintain a certain amount of gpa or a certain minimum gpa for you to be able to still be maintained in an athletic scholarship and some of them require a certain amount of class attendance because they know that once you come on board you'll be spending more time practicing and on the field or on the track depending on which of the athletic activities you're applying for you'll be spending more time or equivalent time in class and then on the field so you need to have a minimum amount of gpa or minimum gpa and you need to have a specific amount of class attendance to be able to maintain this kind of scholarship when you eventually get selected for these the second type of scholarship that i'll be talking about in today's video is the merit-based scholarship and like i said earlier the merit-based scholarship actually depends on your academic performance depends on your leadership roles depends on your test scores depend on your community service depends on your extracurricular activities and um, all of these that i've mentioned should be your key points when you are writing your statement of purpose or your personal statement when you're applying for merit-based scholarship these are the points you should be hammering when you're applying for a merit-based scholarship the third type of scholarship that i'll be talking about in today's video is the need-based scholarship the need-based scholarship is as popular as the merit-based scholarship but i believe the merit-based scholarship is the most popular kind of scholarship that there is out there the need-based scholarship, like I already said, hammering on your financial need. You need to draw on the fact that you have family constraints. You need to demonstrate that you are in need of finances. You should demonstrate that you are incapable of paying, capable of supporting yourself with supporting documents, of course. And then you should, sometimes they also ask about your parents or your family. And you should be able to let them know that you are in need of the scholarship that's why it's called the need-based scholarships and there are a lot of need-based scholarships out there these pointers that i'm giving is for you to tailor your statement of purposes or your personal statements towards this point so you can actually get in and be selected for these scholarships the fourth type of scholarship that i'll be hammering in today's video is the unique scholarship these unique scholarship i believe i've talked about in a couple of videos back where um institution was looking for writers that had affiliations or were born in africa or had 
their parents born in Africa because they needed to support writers for scholarships and then they were specifically looking at writers from the African descent. The typical example of a unique scholarship where they look at your hobbies, they look at your creative pursuits to show your original ideas or your original research interest. An example would be giving proper funding Propose how you can carry out certain projects in agriculture, in writing, in baking. Like it's just unique. These scholarships are not common. They come once in a while. Whenever they come out and you are in a creative space and you are a creative by yourself, these are the kind of scholarships that you should be willing to apply for because that way you get to show your creative side, you get to talk about your passion, and you get to talk about things that are not necessarily generic, not necessarily popular, not necessarily common. You just have to talk about you. The fifth type of scholarship that I'll be talking about in today's video is the subject slash career specific scholarship. These are academic society of scholarships where specific academic organizations or specific academic societies go out there to give scholarships to those people who are their members, those people who are part of them. I would say so academic slash subject slash career specific scholarships. Applicants should have a strong academic record in the documented field and they should expect to submit samples of their work during application process to reflect their interest in the field. Specific institutions give this kind of scholarship so please be on the lookout for those kind of scholarships as well. The sixth scholarship that I'll be talking about in today's video is the employer scholarship. Now, these are the kind of scholarship that businesses, companies, and etc. offer their employees. So I know quite a number of companies do this because I have worked some people through applying for different scholarships from their company. And I know that their company actually puts it internally that there are certain scholarships that are out there. If you want to go get a one-year master's in the UK, the company is willing to sponsor you. If you are willing to get a PhD in a certain field the company is actually willing to sponsor you so these are employer specific scholarships and um, sometimes actually extend the scholarships to the employee's family so it's either the employee or the employee and their family have the liberty to apply for this kind of scholarship sometimes these employer scholarships could be merit-based as well because if you're applying and you don't have the criteria to apply you don't get to get in so usually this employee scholarships might be merit-based very last type of scholarship that i'll be talking about in today's categories of scholarship video is the community service scholarship now the community service scholarship usually talks about volunteering and service that you have rendered to your community and um, it could be used for additional considerations during the scholarship. The community service, like what you've done in the community, things you've done in your community, um, those community activities you partake in on the weekend do come in handy when you're applying for a community based scholarship i really hope this breakdown helps you in your next scholarship search i really wanted to put this out there so you know the different categories of scholarships that they are before you apply that way you can tailor your statement of purpose towards hammering the key points that this scholarship organizers are looking at and they want to see in your application like i said watch out for the next video that is coming up it's so exciting i can now wait to share with you guys the good news for uh, my subscribers that are business inclined please don't forget to like share turn on your notification and subscribe until my next video guys bye